and welcome to our last video, our travel day home. I did get a bit choked up this morning. I'm a bit more emotional today, but Scott's just gone to check in the bags downstairs. If you are not leaving us quite yet, you can actually check them in downstairs near the reception area. I think it's just outside of the actual resort they'll take you to. And it's just basically as you come into the resort, that's where it is to the side of the left. And you can keep your bags there. They'll check it in and then give you a little ticket. So then later on, you can come and pick them back up. Oh, so yeah, I'm a bit emotional today. So Scott's just gone to do that. I think there is a weigher. So I think he's also gone to weigh the cases because they feel a bit heavier than normal. Bringing stuff home. But yeah, I'm so sad. Do you like what I've done to this? I've left this for the uh, mouse keeper to say thanks. Even though I've not made the bed amazing. <laughs> I've still done it, but oh. Made sure I took my last bits of h2o honestly we've had such a good time here i do feel a bit sad that we're going home 15 nights i feel like has been the best we are not sure what we're going to come back so this trip's kind of bittersweet as well like i don't know who knows we might come back in september october november december or even next year or we might not be coming back for two years three years like we don't have a clue when we're literally next coming back so Hopefully you've enjoyed these vlogs as well. But yeah, Disney is like my therapy. Disney has my heart. I come here and I literally forget everything when I'm here. So it's like my little Disney bubbles popped. And when I get home, I do form like a happy bubble. I've nobody kill my vibe. It's a happy bubble, but I prefer my Disney bubble a lot more. But yeah, I'm just like reminiscing and like being grateful right now the weather today take a look outside it is pretty cloudy but you know what i'm not complaining i wondered what that guy was just doing can you see him i think he's cleaning yeah i think he's cleaning i was like what is he doing is he trying to go in so yeah the time is 9 53 a.m our flight isn't until tonight it's 10 20 a.m 10 20 p.m it's a pretty late flight to be honest our flight was actually meant to be at six and it got delayed so now we are coming back with mia's again and they're gonna pick us up around six i think it is so we've got a full day here i did want to do the um mosaic thing but that's at 2 30 p.m and then it says allow two to three hours after that now i'm not sure when we're going to get back but we are going to disney springs today i want a good full shopping day a good look around everything so of course i'm going to be vlogging it but yeah i don't know if i'll have time to do the mosaic thing i keep saying to scott like whatever we've not done on this trip we'll just have to do it when we come back i feel like in future though on my next trip whenever that may be, I want to do like a actual full plan of it because we went in Jan because we went last year in April, then we went in January and now we're here again. I kind of hadn't done many itineraries to do and I feel like this trip has been fast paced but also chilled at the same time and I feel like there's still so much that we could still have done if I would have probably planned it better. So in the future, 100% going to be doing that and I guess... I don't know, I'm a Disney planner, I just love doing it. It just puts me in like the happiest mood. Like I just enjoy planning my holidays, especially to Disney World. So thumbs up for the future, Crystal. You need to remember, you need to plan the next one. I feel like when we came for a week in January, we did a lot more than we have for our full two weeks, which is literally crazy. I feel like these two weeks have been like so different, but I wouldn't change them for the world, honestly. But every every holiday is so different it's just I, I have enjoyed this one i feel like my two favorite ones have definitely been january and this one oh, they're all my favorite to be honest but yeah just waiting for scott now to come back and then we're gonna head to disney springs and we are here at disney springs ready for a full day shopping scott yay <laughs> So heading into World of Disney. Today's a Saturday, so pretty busy. So cute are they, the little munchlins. So cute. There's also a Stitch one over there. Oh, a Mickey and Minnie one together. And then look how cute this one is. I love this one, the Baymax one. All right, so pretty busy in there. So we're just gonna head to Goofy's Candy Co. 
Because we've got to bring home the goods. Got to bring home the goods. Goofy's candy core. This looks incredible. All right, just come out of Goofy's. To say the least, I did some shopping. All this yumminess. Oh my god, look, little cuties. Oh, don't go too far away from your mummy. So, so cute. Look at them all. So, after Goofy's Candy Cove, we're just going to do a quick stop. And of course, it's Blaze Pizza time. Our favourite. We tried this last year. One of our favourites, definitely. Highly recommend. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. And here it is. We got Blaze Pizza. So we got pepperoni, cheese, pizza. And it's got to put some meatballs on the side. And then we've got a garlic cheese pesto garlic bread. Oh my garlic god. Cheese, pesto, garlic garlic bread. cheese pesto garlic bread. And then look at the flatness of the pizza. This is. Oh, I'm so excited for this. What's that, Scott? Salsa or tomato? Uh, I imagine it's marinara sauce. It? Marinara. It smells like marinara sauce. Marinara. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this. This is so good. And how much did it come to? Like $16? $16. That is incredible. That's with a drink as well. With a drink as well? Yeah. Ooh. Marinara. In good? Oh yeah. This looks so good. Mm. We did have once the... Um, cinnamon knots. Cinnamon knots, yeah. They were so good. Highly recommend the cinnamon knots as well. Mm. So now, oh my gosh, I forgot my sunglasses, I forgot my hat and everything today. But I just went in a shop called Sugar Boo and Co. Oh my god, that's my favourite shop ever. You need to go in it. It's like in that little bit near Chicken Guy. Heading into the Coca-Cola store now because I want me some Phantom Melon Frosty. You can meet the Coca-Cola bear here. Me and Scott did it a while ago. It's so cute. Uh, as we're going up to the Coca-Cola bit, I just saw they got the Disney 100 here as well. And here we are on the top of Coca-Cola building. The views up here are beautiful. Got my goodness of Phantom Melon Frosty. I got the large one. He just said, the server that served us, that you can actually get a souvenir cup and you can just keep filling it up for like a dollar something, which is really good as well. But I love this. He also said, so we knew it originated from Thailand, but he also said about Japan having the exact, it sells it in Japan as well, but they just call it like melon soda or something in Japan. So that's interesting to um, know. So cool. I've not had this in a long time. Oh, this is my favorite. Mm -mm -mm. Phantom Melon Frosty. I miss it in Club Cool. They swapped it out for like a melon thing in Club Cool. I feel like it's nowhere near as good as this one though. Mm. Perfect. Scott is dying to go to the AMC today to watch Guardians. It came out yesterday, but we're going to be watching it when we get back. <laughs> yeah, well, tomorrow when we're back, we're definitely watching it. I'm excited though. Look at how cool. Oh, my fave. So just come out of the Star Wars outpost and we have a little joke about Petal being Grogu and there's the cutest little collar for her. Hopefully it'll fit, so cute. Adorable. Need to like show her in the vlog with this on, don't we? <laughs> now heading into Sprinkles to get our last little bit of Sprinkles and Pup Cups. So just got sprinkles, we got the pup cups because our doggies absolutely love them. And then we're going to go back to the resort soon so we've got a carrot cake which I've been dying to try. So going in the bag. Now saying bye to Disney Springs and look at our bus, it's Peter Pan, so cute. That and the Cinderella one is probably my favourite. Alright, so it is now a little later on. We've just got back to the resort. We're now having our... I'm going to say dinner. I don't know what Blaze Pizza was. We're, we're, it's just, we're on holiday. So I'm having the beef and there's like black beans and I think it's like cheese and corn. This is honestly delicious. We've had this a few times here. 
We've got the Tostitos. Scott's just warming up some cheese in the microwave, which is just around there. And then we've got this to take home because we're gonna have our sprinkles now. But look at that. Honestly, the food here is so good. It's like my style of food. Like I love, I love like Mexican food and it's so delicious. So yeah, all for it. Thank you very much. This is so good. I think it all came to $25 if I was correct. But yeah, highly recommend this. It also comes with chicken, but we prefer the beef one. Ooh, and then the dip. Hi besties, so it's now a lot later on. We're just in the lobby and we've got our bags. Feeling a bit sad. So after the clip before, when we was eating, all we did is literally have a good walk, one last walk around the resort. We went around the pool area for a little bit, dipped our feet in, just relaxed then went on to the hammocks and I fell asleep on the hammocks for a little bit. Honestly, it's been so like perfect and chilled. I kind of feel like I wish I had this day beforehand because now I'm like ready to go to the parks. <laughs> but we're not, we're going to the airport. So the time is now quarter past five and we've got Mia's Connect picking us up at 6 p.m. So just got some water and yeah Scott's just gone into the shops because we're stacking up on Rice Krispie treats stuff you've got to do and yeah I'm just sort I'm gonna sort out the bags because today we've got like loads of stuff that kind of needs to go in the case so I'm just about to do that and having one last look at this beautiful resort look at that how beautiful is that? So, just taking it all in for one last little time. Just, um. About to head outside and wait for our coach. Are you ready to go home? Not really. No. <laughs> Neither am I. Neither am I. Just one last little look of this beautiful place. So the Grandestino Tower's there and we're just sat near the airport shuttle bit waiting for Mia's sad times. I feel like it's kicking in now, I feel quite sad. On the Mia's coach, saying bye. So Mia's came on time, five to six. All is well, that's really good. Heading to the airport now. That's me as playing that, by the way. Sad times, guys, sad times. Gonna miss these palm trees. Heading out. See you real soon. You've been great, Coronado Springs. You've been great. of the beautiful arches. Oh, it's not goodbye, it's see you real soon, Disney. See you real soon. And we are here at the airport. Oh, definitely, obviously going in. Scott's dying for some food, so I think he's probably gonna get Panda Express. But, oh my gosh. Also to the bestie, Hayley, thank you so much for stopping us. It's so lovely to speak to you. I appreciate you so much. You were so lovely. So thanks for being a bestie. Love you. Oh, look. Missing it already. I can't believe that we are. Our 15 nights have come to an end. I'm going to definitely go in there in a minute. 
but Scott is adamant that he wants some food, guys. So, Scott's got panda. That is like extra large. It's not, it's medium. That's medium. Yeah. Could you not get small? Oh, yeah. But... Scott, what the hell? We've we had loads of food this trip. I've got Chick fil A because it's my new fave. These two are a favourite. Would you like some more uh, <laughs> burger with your lettuce? <laughs> and then I'm looking at Cinnabon. I don't know, but look at that. It's staring at me. You know what I like? The inside of the Cinnabon. Inside of the roll. Inside of the roll. That was my favourite from here. So, bon appetit. So excited to have this as our last meal in the US. We're now through to the terminal. Going for security was so easy. easy. Like we literally had nobody Less in front of us. Minutes. Yeah, it was so so quick, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, we've just spent like fifth, our last fifty-four dollars in. It's not all snacks. <laughs> Stella News. That that is quite expensive though, isn't it? I feel like the Stella News is, is ex it's not expensive. Expensive. It, it's, it's regularly priced for a Florida airport. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you what we've got though because I'm really impressed with what we've got. So we're just gonna find somewhere to sit. And what, yeah. I mean, what sort of doesn't help is you pick things up and don't look at the cost. That's the biggest problem. Scott, I'm on holiday, okay? I'm still in holiday mode till I get to the UK and off that plane when it's freezing, then I'll accept the cost. But other than that, I'm, I'm in holiday mode. The time is seven minutes past eight right now, so we don't fly until 10.20. Well, we, yeah, we board at half nine though. Boarding at half nine? Yeah. So. No, it still just says gate 96. On time. Where are we? There. Yeah, great. Can see that. Can Zoom in on it. Can talk, it's alright. I can see it. So, yeah, there's quite a few things here. There's um, Auntie Anne's and stuff. There's even like a steakhouse over there. And then you go down there into your like, like your next bit, like your gate. But we never eat at this bit. Normally we eat just before this bit, don't we? That's that's kind of the thing. It's really, it is really small though, isn't it? There's a Burger King for anything like that, but it's actually no, closed. It's not, no, Burger King wasn't even open in January. It's been closed last time. Oh really? Time. Was it? Yeah. Look at that we ate then before. There's this tiny little like duty free as well. But yeah, we're just gonna chill for a bit. I'll show you what we've got as well. So weird being here like in the dark because we're used to it being daylight in here. So this is really different for us. We've, this is our first late, late flight. All right, so we are just sat down now. This isn't our gate exactly, but we're just looking out. The planes and as it's getting darker. So from there, we just got, I love these, Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch. We just have Cool Original at home. Why can't we have Cool Ranch? It tastes 10 times better. Twix. Side eye. Why are you giving me the side eye? <laughs> but yeah, Twix, which is delish for the plane. We've got some water, two bottles to be precise. Stay hydrated. And then I just can't believe that they do strawberry Fanta. I love me some strawberry Fanta. I'm sorry, like the no sugar that we do in the UK is not the one. Strawberry Fanta. And then we just got, Scott got a little magnet for somebody that he works with. It's like a little Florida magnet. And then I, as soon as he was looking at the magnets, I thought that was so cute. Look, I had to get it. Is this just not me? Olaf and Florida. Look at that. And they were $7.99 each. They're so adorable. And then kind of why we spent the $50 was this. Guys, I'm obsessed. How cute are they? Salt and pepper shakers. They were $19.99. Look at them. I need them in my life. Look at them. Obviously not gonna open them until we get our house, but look at that. So yeah, just gonna chill here for a little bit. Watch the planes and just relax waiting for our flight time is quarter past eight and we've got some time to just chill a lot later on look how dark it is now the time is 20 past nine and 
we go in an hour it's just the waiting game for me like i just want to get home <laughs> even that or i want to stay in disney i've got two options disney or home right now i prefer to stay in disney but it's travel travel day is good traveling home you're just waiting and this is the this is the part that i don't like Yeah. 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 Yeah.